Guys, this is going to be such a shocker to you guys because, um, do you guys see that? What a change. Considering the last video was literally me waking up at like 12.58. And then I've been waking up even later than that, sometimes 6, which is just ridiculous. In today's video, we are going to be being productive because it is currently 10.24 as I just showed you guys the time. I have an interview for a job at, I believe, 12.30. So I have to join that call in a couple hours. But until then, we are going to be productive because I am up early and I did get some pretty good sleep. Okay guys, this is the outfit. As you guys can see, we got these shorts. I don't know where I got these from. I think I got these off of Amazon. And then we got this top. I'm pretty sure I got this from like TJ Maxx or something. And then we have this bonnet. I didn't know what else to wear. I mean, I have a do-rag and this thing is just huge. So it gets on my nerves. Like sometimes it falls while I'm exercising, but I wanted to protect my hair. Guys, I don't know if it's just me, but being up this early is so boring, but I'm excited to start my workout really early. So let's get into it. Something I love to do every single day is work out, and I make this a non-negotiable. That means that I am going to be trying to work out every single day, because honestly, there is no excuse to not be working out. Even if I don't have access to a gym, I have equipment at home, and I feel like no one in this world should have an excuse to not be able to work out, especially if your excuse is just not having gym equipment because you can simply work out at home just like me training full body and getting it done every single day. If you guys have been keeping up with me and my fitness journey, you know that pull-ups were pretty difficult for me in the past, and I was only able to do about six reps. But now, honestly, I felt like I've been getting stronger, and these have been so much easier for me, as you guys can see. And plus, I've gotten better with my form as well, and I've just been loving the progress I've been making with pull-ups. As you guys can see, I get stuck on this last rep and I have a really bad headache, which I'm going to explain a little bit later in this video, but I just really gave it a couple of seconds and they seem to go away. And then I thought about doing chin ups to finish off the last three reps I had left, but I just went through and I was like, let's just push through it. Let's get these last three reps in and I got it done. Anytime I push myself into doing like pull-ups, I'll get like these really bad headaches. Like when I went to do that seventh rep of a pull-up, my head started hurting really badly, but then it goes away like instantly. Not instantly, but like within like 30 seconds, I'd say. Like I can still kind of feel it. it. Doesn't really hurt though, but it feels weird. I don't know why, if you guys have any advice on why that is, it's like, but it's only when I push myself. You can see I've seen I was gonna keep going, but I have to stop there. I was trying to make it to 10. Because I've upped my push-ups from six, three sets of six to three sets of ten. But, I mean, I still did the ten. But I had to, like, take a break on the seventh one. Because it was like, my, I was able to push my body more, but my head started to, I don't know, my head started to hurt really badly. 
and then it goes away within 30 seconds so i don't know what that is but next up we got push-ups all right guys so something i've done to make my push-ups a lot harder is to implement using a squat weight because my mom randomly had one i guess from a while ago so what i did is i took that weight and i alternated from left to right or right to left and i hit a rep of a push-up and then i switch it to the other side hit a rep and then i switch it to the other side and it just makes it so much more intense and i definitely feel the pump after doing it Of course, we can't just skip leg day, and unfortunately, regular squats just don't do it for me, so I like to add a weighted vest. You can purchase these online. I personally got mine from Walmart, but you can find them all over Amazon. But basically, I have about 16 pounds in my weighted vest, and I just like to do squats, and then I'll also go in with some calf raises. All right guys, for my abs, I like to do some L holds. You basically just grab onto like a pull-up bar and you bring your legs all the way up to about a 90 degree angle. And you just wanna hold it there for as long as you personally can. Right now I'm doing about 10 to 20 seconds depending on the day. And then I like to go in with some Russian twists. I usually do these for about 30 seconds and it's been helping my core strength out quite a bit. Honestly, that was a really good workout. I'm not gonna lie, but we are in a time crunch. It is 11:36, and my interview is at 12:30, and I need to shower. So let's get into that. Okay, guys, this is the outfit I'm gonna wear today. It says Angel on the shorts, and then we got this blue shirt. I believe I got that from Boho Man, and then I got these from Romway, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing. I really have to hurry up, so I'm sorry if I can't get like extended. <laughs> like pictures and stuff um i went ahead and put my bonnet on and then i got my towel and then my bath towel but we gotta go current time check is 11 42 so let's get it All right, guys, the current time is 12.23 p.m. The interview is, is in about seven minutes, so I'm just, I have everything set up and I'm ready. Prepared and I got my laptop. I'm just going to do it directly off of my laptop. And then I'm going to keep you guys in the ring light while I do the entire thing. Um, it is a Zoom interview, but... You know, this is my fit for today. I'm pretty sure they gave me a link. They sent me an email. Also, guys, look at this. I got my first tattoo. I've been wanting this tattoo for about a couple of months now, and I finally pulled the trigger, and I went and got it on April the 2nd. It is now April the 5th, so it's been a couple of days, but just taking care of it and everything has been different, I'd say, because you have to clean it a couple times a day, and you also have to make sure it's moisturized. But I do keep my skin pretty moisturized. So just the cleaning aspect of it is new to me. As you guys can see, I have four Hanzi symbols and they each mean something. And I got them in order. So I got four in total. So the first one means ambition. The second one means 
tranquility. The third one means loyalty. And then the last one is love. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. See, some of you guys are still connecting to audio. All right. So thank you for joining. So Xavier, thank you very much for joining our event today. Uh, looks like you're uh, looking to apply over at the... Yes, sir, it is. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's just jump right into it. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I think that's pretty much it. Sounds pretty promising. All right. Sounds good. Well, that's all the questions. So this is what we'll do as soon as the event is over. We'll mm -hmm. go through all the candidates and we'll start sending all the information out uh, in the next three to five business days. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Xavier. Right. Appreciate you. Yeah, go on. You too. Thank you. Bye. Okay, guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I rambled a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, man. Honestly. If I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, <laughs> by the sound of it, it sounds like a decent job, but at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. He asked me a lot, though. And I was, I low-key was rambling, bro. I was just like, because eh. they ask you weird, just the most random questions, I swear. And I don't even know how to answer them, bro. Like, oh, why do you need a job now? Because I need the money, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Be asking some goofy questions. I'm about to go make me a smoothie. I ain't got time for this. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I have really good news. Even though I thought I did horrible during the interview, I got a message last night at around 9 p.m. But I went to bed at like 8. Um, and the message said that I passed. So I'm popping up on the screen. I think I can. If I have to blur anything, then I will. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.